I, I do want to take you over here and show you some of the challenges that we're dealing with on this uh, property. Well, what this was, was it was the plant floor of the old bomber plant. Uh, it was built back in the 1940s and, and all of this was built as a, an interior floor. As you can see, some of the areas out here, uh, due to the uh, temperatures and the expansion and contraction of the concrete, uh, we're actually getting a lot of spalling of the concrete. Uh, this area here was the cap of an old area that was uh, um, different uh, equipment and different machines that were working within the plant. They removed some of the old flooring and just replaced it with this cap. Uh, and these are just all features that we've got to deal with as an end product. So, Mike, we talked about a man. It's been a few months, but what's changed since the last time you and I have spoken? A uh, lot of lot of tremendous activity out here. Uh, so, since then, uh, we've secured a number of permits through the the road commission and the township uh, and the local water resources department uh, that will allow us to build all of our facilities. Uh, so. Through those approvals, uh, it allowed us to ask our contractor to begin work. Uh, and as you can see here, there's a lot of activity going on. Uh, and as you pan around, you'll be able to see some of the specific features we've built uh, just in the last month. I mean, obviously, this hasn't really been done before. So what kind of things are you kind of seeing now and saying like, oh man, I wish I knew this a year ago? Yeah, I think really it's it's the ability to understand what our testers want, what the people, the, the OEMs and the, and the people who are going to rent the facility out, what they truly want. We've had a number of working sessions to try to get that input, but you never get all of the detail and all the information of what they would like to see in the facility. So as we went through and did our initial design, you make some assumptions and, and we try to speculate what they're going to want and we build that into the design. That's why we need to be flexible and continue these design changes as we proceed with the construction. Are you excited right now? Yeah, actually. You're more excited than you uh, are? Like, you feel like it's growing? I do. You... I feel like we're really gaining some momentum. Uh, the contractors out here, they probably got 40, 50 pieces of equipment moving. It's just, uh, it is exciting to see everything taking shape. Mark, do you feel like you're on track for your expected opening date? Absolutely. I mean, we've got a lot of activity going on. I mentioned a lot of the design changes. We're, we're being thoughtful of what we're going to change and what we're going to add. Uh, everything we're doing is targeting that fall opening, uh, and we are on track and moving forward.